In this problem, we want to find the domain of this function. So we've got f of x is equal to 2 over x squared minus 49. Now, by default, our domain is all real numbers except for ones that cause a negative number, negative number inside a radical with an even index and a zero in the denominator. So on this one, since we have a denominator, we're going to set the bottom part equal to zero and solve it. Different ways you could solve this, you could factor it using difference two squares, or you could use square root property. I'm going to use square root property. I'll take negative 49 over to the right side, it becomes a positive 49. Square root property says if you got something squared equal to the other side, you drop your squared and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now, no matter where you are in math, always simplify your radicals before you go on. 49 is 7 times 7. We're looking for a pair of numbers. Here's a pair of 7's. So those pair of 7's going to come out in front as a single 7. And we got x is equal to plus or minus 7. Now these are the values that cause us problems. If I put 7 up here, 7 squared is 49. 49 minus 49 is 0. So x cannot equal to negative 7 and x cannot equal to 7. This is the way I like to see it written, but if you like interval notation, that's fine too. It goes from negative infinity to negative 7. Union, negative 7 to positive 7. Union, 7 to positive infinity. It goes, and everything has parentheses on it. How it goes is uh, it goes from negative infinity to your smallest number. Union, your smallest number to your largest number. Union, your largest number to positive infinity.